So let's go on an adventure. Um, as I said, Mazaius, you will man engines, and Morbius, you will learn to deal with weapons quick. Uh, quick, I hope. There you go. <coughs> Save the stations, and we are on our way. Alrighty, so, uh, so how does it look? Oh, then, uh, not a lot of options here. <laughs> Alright, so we re we shall jump to the, to the fight here. Actually, I haven't uh, shown you the ship, if you are new to this. This ship here comes with a glaive beam installed. Has a recharge of 25 seconds, and that is the problem, because uh, we don't have any shields. So we have to somehow make it so that we get to the, uh, the shot of the glaive beam, Mostly unharmed. That is the uh, the, tr the tricky part of the early phase for the stealth bee. And uh, yeah, you, for that you get a cloaking two, which gives you ten seconds of cloak. And yeah, that's that. That is uh, the main thing that you have to think about. Glaive beam is pretty awesome. It it does the three damage, so it punches two levels of shields, and it can destroy uh, uh, the early ships, the early enemy ships, in one go. In one go, so let's hope that happens. Hello, Paduk. One, two, three, four. You say I hope you are okay. Yes, I am okay. Thank you for asking, Paduk. Paduk, and thank you for joining us. Inquisitor is here. Um, you can also turn off the SSD and select System Managed on a magnetic drive. Works as well, says Christy X. Alrighty. So many. Eagle Beaks says, have to FK for 20 minutes. Be back later. Alright, Eagle Beaks, we shall still be here. Alright, so let's jump finally. Let's get into the action. 20 minutes in. There we are, you detected a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they are not firing yet. So they have, I can see it here in their icons, they have a drone system. And that is, if you haven't guessed it already or haven't uh, been witness to that last week, drones are, offensive drones are the arch nemesis of this ship. Because you can't do anything about them, they shoot so fast. Uh, that one clock is not going to uh, hold health them off, but I'm still gambling here. They might have like an anti-personnel drone or something else, or defense one or anything. Um, that doesn't mean that we are host now. So I'm going to inter intervene to defend the outpost because this might mean double reward. So there we go. So they don't have an anti-personnel. Let's hope there is a defense drone or something. Hello, kid cousin. Thank you for joining us tonight. Chris Triex says the reason is that a page file has serious read write cycle. Yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. Um, if it is being used, if you leave it on an SSD, it reduces the lifetime considerably. All right. All right. It it's it's not an offense drone, but uh oh, uh oh. They have a beam here. I think I want to dodge under that beam. Okay, I'll dodge now. Now that that laser shot, I don't want to have that beam uh, go off against me. That would be a bad idea. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't power my cloaking. Now I cloaked only for five seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'll take. I'll take that two damage. I'll take it. Can we first do the, uh, the shields and then... Uh, I want four though. Yeah, like this. There you go. BAM! Ship breaks apart. We get 16 scrap. That is a good reward in sector one. And we get maybe a double reward. Ta-da! Yay! All right. And fuel was part of... Hey, open that door here. I want to vent the fire. Idiot. Uh-oh. Don't destroy cloaking. Don't, don't, don't. That gives an extra... No, not an extra fire. Oh, no. Okay, th these were two major faults. 
and all of the three damage that we got here uh, are totally my doing and I apologize for that. Wake up Joydy, three unnecessary damage. First, first I forgot to power both levels of um, cloaking and then I forgot to um, open that door to vent the fire properly. What's going on here, guys? Chat! You have to, to look out for the thing and warn me about that. Alright, Morbius got a few repair experience. A little bit of repair experience. Uncle Elias says, Chris, Jordi will have to be using his PC for about a decade to, to, decade to have an issue with the new SSDs. Yeah, no, uh, Christy, that was uh, um, that was really valuable information because I currently have it on my system SSD, and that is that thing is pretty old. Uh, it's uh, like uh, still an O uh, OCX Vertex or something, too. So it's better not to have a page file on this. Yeah. All right. So I need an extra energy here, actually. Shall I actually shall I buy it immediately? No, because the very first thing that you need to go into is um, cloaking three, in my opinion. Cloaking three. So we save up our scraps for this. What do we have here? A pulsar. Actually, a pulsar is not that not that bad, but it could potentially um, disable my cloaking and then uh, yeah I'm not so good so let's go to that other fight here Dr. Ellis says I'm always good when I watch streams perfect then you are in a perfect condition now in a good condition all right what happens here we got an intruder in weapons hmm That will prolong my recharge rate considerably. They disabled my engines as well. All right, let's dodge under this. A flag, that's scary. That's really scary. And I'm losing the fight. Here. All right. The glaive beam is about ready. Cool. About to get ready. And that's that. We only need one shot if you place it correctly. Only need one shot. So there you go. Nine scraps. Nah, meh below 10 two fuel though I'll take the two fuel so now we need people to heal up Morbius Morbius is our MVP at the moment always in the midst of the action well done Morbius all right everyone back to your stations put that here all right 38 scraps. We are getting we are getting there. We are getting there. Okay, we take these two and then go into the nebula. Is this nebula as well? Yeah. Cool. Cool. It was nothing, says Morbius TV. <laughs> Ta -ta. Uh, attack the automated ship to get the sensor station. Yeah, we want although they have drones. So that is why you actually want to avoid the um the automated ship they most of the time have drones offense drones but I can take it I can take them all right so uh, you have to dodge under the drone uh, when it aims at fire uh, at your weapons or at your cloaking your two most valuable systems and that is actually the case here so we have to cloak <clears throat> Let's hope that it doesn't aim there again, but it does. Okay, that's piloting. 
Um, I think we are going to see another fire here soon, so... Uh-oh, is this, uh, is this iron actually going for my weapons? No! Yeah, that's the restart. Alright. Well, what can you do? What can you do? This is how fragile the start of this ship is. Um, you can take these ships on, but you have, have to have a little bit of luck. And if you don't have it... Just, just, just don't try. Just don't try. Just start over. All right. Let's do it again. But as uh, this is a house rule here, uh, restarting in the first sector doesn't count um, as a serious attempt. So we don't say, "Hey, this is the third attempt now." It's still the second attempt, all right? Because how, f because how fragile these ships are at the start. If you were to count that, we would, you know, go into the three digits pretty fast. All right, your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout, automated again, oh man, <coughs> has used a local satellite to deploy a virus to disrupt your shield system. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Oh, come on. A beam drone again. Okay, where are they aiming? Well, they're aiming at weapons and so we have to cloak. Is there an angle when they are not aiming at weapons? Well, okay, like so, okay. Okay, that goes somewhere to med bay. There comes a laser in. So we have to endure that laser and then we might actually have a chance here. <coughs> okay, so can we try to kill that ship? No, because it doesn't have four rooms that I can touch with my with my beam that's a little bit unfortunate so we have to make sure that we uh, actually uh, bring down that drone that is the very first thing we need to do all right so sensors are down okay, we can actually bring some oxygen back up All right, we survived. We survived. Good. That's okay now. Bam. Yeah, the glaive beam is awesome, but well, if you don't have the defense with that, it's hard. It's hard, especially against offensive drones. Fifteen. I wish. I wish. I shall call them attack drones. I could say combat drones, but there is a combat drone, so that would lead to confusion. So I will say attack drones from now on. Good idea. So 15 scraps, that's a good reward to fuel. And Morbius, <coughs> you shall repair. Juan Valdez says, oh no, not the shields. Hello Arne Finland, how's it going? Thank you for joining us on this lovely Wednesday. Almost forgot what, what day it is. You say hello, nice to see a good FTL stream, thank you, thank you, yeah, FTL, I mean, it's th it's three, almost, it's more than three years uh, since it has been released, so I don't fault people for not streaming FTL anymore, but then again, I fault them because FTL is such a great game, and so many uh, other games had tried to take the throne from FTL and they failed. FTL is still the best game of the year uh, for three days uh, for three years in a row. Let's save this layout here. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> uh, Anna Finland says I never completed with the stealth. I hope to find some good strategies here. Yeah, well, uh, the first strategies that you can note down in your little notebook uh, in the stealth B. Instead, for shields, go for level 3 um, cloaking. 
because that helps uh, to avoid the early the first volley of the enemy ship uh, so that you can get to the glaive your glaive beam discharge unharmed <clears throat> all well still that is uh, thwarted by ships that um, utilize attack drones how I will call them from now on because attack drones you can't just dodge under them with with, with, the, with the cloak all the time until you shoot it's just not possible so these ships are your arch nemesis other than that cloak to a three is the way to go all right let's go to the fight let's get the scraps for level three cloaking oh there oh toll trolls and they don't have drones well let me show I will pay I will pay you uh, in in your blood in your own blood so they want to intrude us hmm yeah I think I, I will still man doors here that's that important to lose the extra recharge I mean Morbis is just uh, giving 10% more <clears throat> okay I don't want him to go into cloaking so I will vent this I will vent it like this Okay, they have a beam? Oh god, no. Beams are so bad. Okay, I, wa I wait for that discharge. We uh, learned earlier that this discharges and then you can go in into the cloak without the beam shooting. The mini beam. Like so. Ta -da! Works. Totally works. Okay, they still went through here. Well. Whatever, man. Okay, I hope I can shoot. Ah, because I don't have anyone in weapons. I think that beam is going to hit me before I can use my glaive beam. Ah, that's unfortunate. All right, revenge. All righty, so we will do it like so. That's unfortunate. Yeah, like so, All right? <laughs> And that's that. Excellent. And now uh, Jordi and Morbius are going to collect a little bit of uh, battle experience. 16 scrap. Good reward. Good reward. And there you go. Close all the doors. Let's get the oxygen back up. And let's kill that mantis. His name was... We don't know. We shall never know what his name was. <coughs> that's so sad. Morbius, go and repair. Cloaking. Yeah, Messias says Morbius fights, Morbius repairs, and I'm just chilling. <laughs> yeah, Messias, that's your job. Just be down in engineering and chill. Uh, Heimler Play, is it Wednesday? Odin's Day, sweet. Says Heimler Play, it's Arne Finn that says it's such a wonderful little game. Yes, it is. It is. Silver DM is here. Hello. Thank you for joining us again. Hyrna Play says, actually, Jordi, only a game released in the same year can be Game of the Year, so a game made in 2014 can be Game of the Year 2015. Uh, technically, but personally, that can be too. Hyrna Plays, um, we don't like smite asses over here. Shut up, FTL is Game of the Year every year. <laughs> <coughs> So, everyone back to their stations, close the doors, let's get these engines running. We need 20 more for Cloaking 3. Hello Teach 311, how's it going? Uh, Juan Valdez, Heimdall, FTL Game of the Year, 3 years running in spite of being impossible. Exactly, exactly, we are doing the impossible here. If you haven't noticed it, we won in the Stealth A, we won in the NGB. It's a Jordi award! Exactly, Silverdam! It's my stream, so I can award stuff. Uh, you're funny, says Heimler Plays. I like being a smart ass from time to time. No comment. Alrighty! On to the next fight that will lead us into the Nebula. I mean, Nebula is good uh, rebel wise, but for this ship, Nebulas are actually something you want to actively avoid because Nebulas. A field a lot of uh, automated ships but here I think I will take it because my route takes me through the nebula anyway so I will take it it's just a balance act that you have to do you know 
you have to think about how ah, do I want to slow down the rebel fleet or do I um, want to avoid automated ships and um, especially at the start uh, you need all the scraps you can get <clears throat> because right cloaking uh, yeah you will have to take the risk Ben Wild uh, did I say Ben Wild hello already Ben Wild hello thank you for joining us uh, there are so many goatees which clearly aren't goatees. The branding is quite irre irrelevant, says Ben Wild. There you go. Uh oh, combat one, Joan. So what you do here against, uh, if you come across, uh, if you come acom across attack drones, uh, eventually you will. Um, the thing is, you have to look where it is aiming, and if it is aiming at the, your two critical systems, cloaking and. Um, and uh, weapons, you have to cloak. You have to protect these. <coughs> so that it doesn't bring your weapons and cloaking down. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate that we had to cloak that early because I think that beam is going to hit us together with the combat drone during the rest of um, my recharge. And during that, a lot can happen. A lot can happen. So I got three damage, that beam is about to shoot and I need like three more seconds or something. Okay, that doesn't look like it's shooting at weapons, right? Okay, and the beam hit us in piloting. Uh, since piloting is down, Jordi go and repair oxygen immediately. I hope that glaive beam um, will be enough to bring the whole ship down. Like so. It should be enough. There you go. No, I don't, I don't need your slimy offer. You did five damage to me, come on. Or was it even six? Let me count this real quick. Yeah, it's six damage. You deserve to die for that. Okay, that's more scraps here. And a drone part, nice. Okay, repair oxygen. We are down to, well, two thirds. <clears throat> oxygen repaired. Well done, Jordi. And Mazayus, you take care of piloting get that juicy repair experience up and we will heal up Jordi in the meantime. You can hit five rooms on ships like that. Alrighty Arne Finland. Arne Finland. It wasn't uh, uh, thanks for the hint. Thankfully uh, four rooms was enough on this ship. Big Blue says, so FTL is the winner of the prestigious Jordi Award for no less than three years in a row. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it's easy to win for FTL if there are no competitors. Juan Valdez said earlier, every goatee after Half-Life is irrelevant to me. Oh. Alright, so Oxygen is back at 100%. Let's hope we do not come across more <coughs> attack drones. Heimler Place says, Jordi, beams are really bad against a ship like yours. I mean, your uh, rooms are so close to each other and small. Yes, yes. You can easily hit um, five rooms in on my ship as well. Just like um, Arne Finland just said. <laughs> Silver the says, and they always play blame it on the rain when they announce the winner of the award. I should actually make a, an award show like that. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, so we need just six more. Oh, there's a store coming in. Um, in the store, we just want to repair. And I feel like that is too early. I need to continue my um, my road to cloaking th uh, three. That is what I need to do. And I need more energy for that as well to power it. Right. So. All right. No drones. They have no shields. Okay. This looks interesting. Hmm. We will dodge under the when that uh, chain laser shoots. All right, it shoot, it shot, and we will dodge. We might, we might have to check for fire here, so let's do that. <coughs> and that thing will explode if I just as much as breathe at it, right? So goodbye. 
It was a nice, a nice fight. 14 scraps, excellent. A drone part, two fuel, always nice. So... I don't hear any, any fire. So it's fine, I guess. But well, we have to check for it. <coughs> we have to check for it. So Messias, that Morbius, that will be your job. No, he didn't walk into Inferno. Well done. Well done. Yeah, on a side note with the Geordie Award, is the goatee now the Geordie of the year, says Ben Wild? <laughs> yeah, it's getting that show is getting better and better, Ben Wild. <laughs> Geordie of the year is something Geordie wins every year. <laughs> says I'm that place. You guys are really having a good time with that idea, don't you? <laughs> Juan Valdez says Heiner Juan Valdez says Heiner plays. Yeah, I'd vote Jordi for Jordi of the Year. <laughs> In nominate you there, thank you for joining us again on this lovely evening. We are currently discussing a new uh, show here on the stream. It's called Jordi of the Year. Where I award myself the Jordi of the Year. And people are having fun with it. Okay, we are having 50 scraps here. I buy me cloaking three. And I will have problems powering that, but well, and energy shall be the next, shall be the next thing that we do. All right, on to the distress. Prepare to board and investigate. Ooh, as you approach the ship, the other ship's transporters suddenly power up. Oh no, it was a trap. And your decks swarm with non-cannibalistic refugees. And now cannibalistic refugees, uh oh. Cannibalists are on board! Can oh god, four of them? Uh-oh! Uh, uh it's, it's four of them, dudes. Okay, we have to open this. Uh-oh, they will bring down Met Bay. That's not good. Okay, so close this again. Because now, Jordy can move and repair Mad Bay. Uh oh. Uh oh, now they are going into <coughs> doors. That's not good. My Mad Bay is uh, unfortunately too small for uh, to house all three of my uh, guys. Can I close this door, please? Come on, give me that door! What the f- Oh, doors are down! They destroyed doors! Doors are down! Oh no! And oxygen is also down. I think that that was it for this run. Because I will never get doors up there. It's so far away. It's so far away. Ah, oh, God, no. That's a really dumb way to go. That's a really dumb way to go, I have to say.
I'm not even getting more health here. Morbius isn't healing at all. So the, I, I don't have any chance of repairing oxygen or doors. Even if I manage to repair doors, then I don't have oxygen up to bring, to get oxygen back in. Ah, okay, I, I accept defeat. Well done, FTL. But still, it was Sector 1. It was Sector 1, so it still doesn't count. It's the house rule.